Hello, I'm Panos Kodzathanasis, and I'm here with the ASEAN Movie Pulse interviews. Uh, today, our guest is uh, senior colorist Yov Moore. How are you, Yov? Hi. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Good to be there. Okay. So uh, let's start from the beginning. How did you end up becoming a colorist? <laughs> uh, my my uh, my story about colorist is kind of uh, not uh, messy, but uh, I was not good in school. But I was lucky to born in a family with my mother was a editor of book, art book editor, and I was all time surrounded by picture picture of every uh, everywhere around the world. And I born in this kind of family with a lot of photo and picture, but in school I really not work. I didn't I didn't work, and I was very a bad student. And I start very early computer, and uh, I first time I do first uh, 3D modeling and stuff like that in game company. And after uh, I met people, and I start to do some light and also direct for for film, but more industrial film, more not uh, art uh, art house film or stuff like that. And I start to build a, a company in Paris because I was very excited to to work on film. And uh, and I make this company with different people, but it's very a quick introduction. But uh, I I learn a, a very a lot of different kind of stuff around my my life, and uh, I want to say is the is the autodidact way of working. It's not a, I I didn't learn this at school. It was coming very by work, simply by work, and learn learn by work. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. And can you describe a bit uh, in more detail what exactly a colorist does? Because sometimes we have cinematographers doing that part. But to define colorist, for me is um, is um, I, I'm I'm in charge to to follow the point of view and director and cinematographer to to express their feeling about picture. But we have different step. Of working like if I, I talk like very technically, we most of time is a, we we try to balance each shot to make a one film. Sometimes each shot have some trouble, technical trouble can be overlighted, can be too too dark and everything like this. And this is the technical part is to make a balance of this shot. Mm -hmm. But it's very basic bas. But now, because color color grading is quite uh, more advanced than before, because we have computer and stuff like that, uh, sometimes we play, and we play with a director and DP to play with the texture and color. Sometimes we to to create a mood, to create a, a feeling, to create something personal to the film. And mm -hmm. my job is to to manipulate the picture. And to translate also the world of directors it can be not technical work sometimes just emotion and uh, and feeling world, and my work is to to translate to bridge this to the picture with the DP, mm -hmm. the and this is my job, and to ensure also the final master the final will be good about color wise and technically also to it will be well managed, and uh, yes. That's it. Very strange. Uh, normally, I'm very comfortable with this question, but <laughs> today oh. is very. I uh, will try again, maybe later. <laughs> okay, okay. And um, uh, wh wh when exactly do you come during post production? Does coloring comes towards the end of post production or in the beginning? Usually, uh, how does... each film is different. Sometimes you have a director call me to talk about DP. Mm -hmm. to DP sometimes I, I I'm in this position sometimes and uh, they talk to me about feeling of the film and what kind of DP will be good for the film uh, this is sometimes happen uh, also another, another kind of uh, situation is a DP talk to me very early before the um, before the shooting to choose lens to to talk about which camera to talk about the texture uh, if we go to film or we go to digital, we try different kind of mood to to find the mood of the film. Sometimes we have this kind of discussion before to shoot, to mm -hmm. have a, that give an idea to cinematographer and, and uh, director to have an idea where we go, to have an idea of a direction about picture, and uh, 
sometime or so I'm just appear after editing. Like mm -hmm. uh, I, uh, they just come with the editing and they give me the editing. I watch it and uh, and uh, and we work. And it's very I, I have a very different kind of relationship with the director and DP. Mm -hmm. It's very. But honestly, me, uh, uh, I, I, I don't like to be introduced by, by producer. I like to be connected directly by a, a cinematographer and director. I like this kind of connection, very close connection. I prefer the, producer, it's okay, but uh, no, by lab. I don't like to be introduced by lab because yeah. I think it's very human uh, connection also to understand each other. This is why I, I come very early and I, it's very different. It's very different. There are no one one rule. Sometimes it, last moment. Sometimes very beginning. It's very very di different. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, do you find that currently that okay the importance of the image, let's say the quality of the image, has become much more significant during the latest years? Like it, right now, you cannot have let's say images that are not in high definition, or the audience doesn't want to watch. Uh, low quality images, let's say, on their movies. So, uh, do you think that this has made uh, what you are doing more important during the latest years? I mean, uh, I think now we play more with this because we can have uh, this low quality to play with. And I want to say it depends of kind of movie, but uh, sometimes we, <laughs> you can destroy the quality of picture to play if if they say something to the film. Sometimes we play with this kind of quality, but the final quality for sure now is more high hands than before, like mm -hmm. the streaming and stuff like that. Sure, uh, cinema and streaming, the quality is far better. But me, I, I all time work with the top of quality of the moment, you know, I, I never, I, I want to say about the tools and everything, about the projector and everything, but about camera, is really sometimes uh, we work again with DV, we work again with Super 8. We go, now I, I feel it's more free about texture. Sometimes uh, a low quality streaming can can say something to a film, you know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We can play with we can play with that, not mm -hmm. only by just a high quality. We we are more free than before to play with different quality now. If I understand your question. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. exactly. Uh, and uh, you have started working in movies in 2008, am I correct? Was it around yeah, something then? Like that, yeah. Little yeah. before, but uh, not in color grading. It was more in a special effect, visual special effect. And yeah, mm -hmm. all time with picture. Yeah. Okay. And uh, what do you think are the most significant changes that have come to your field during these years? No, not really big things because from I, I think people, director and cinematographer are more aware about important of colorist about mm -hmm. this uh, work. I think they are more they are more precise than before because we are very surrounded by picture and a lot of example around. And I think they are more more aware about important of uh, of colorist. And uh, I think the evolution I think is more the price. The price very go down about the tools now it's far more easier to to have tools than before before it was quite expensive and this changed a lot because now we have a lot of people uh learning to do color and i think this is good because a, a lot of people understand the importance the importance of color is what what the, that mean and this I, I think is very interesting it's far more for everyone, more equality about this, more equal about the tools. I feel that now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And okay, I, I have a strange question. Uh, have you ever worked in a black and white film? Yeah. How, and, uh, how does that work? If you, what's your work? Me, I learned something very interesting about black and white. Black and white can be uh, an easy way, you know, it's like to put a cinemascope on picture and mm. And being black and white, this it can be very easy. But I think black and white is more complicated, far more complicated because I felt black and white is more personal to people. Uh, I, I learned that each people have, you, you know, in color we can. I, what I feel, huh? we can join everyone in color. We can make everyone to 
to enjoy the picture in color. In black and white, it's more complicated mm -hmm. because I feel it's more personal to each one. The way of contrast, the way of texture and everything, I felt it was more, more narrow, more, more narrow and more need to be very precise. And mm -hmm. uh, as I said before, my mother was our book editor and uh, she, she edited a lot of black and white picture. Mm -hmm. a lot of black and white photo and i saw the difference of each black and white and i think yes it's very personal and i and, and i like that I, I really like that to work in black and white and um but uh, no 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 it's not complicated or not easy or what is a uh, very personal and i like this way but color i think sometimes is more easy mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay okay and, and how did you end up working in so many asian movies uh but some years ago, I, I, I built a company with some uh, associates and uh, we have two companies at this time, we have two companies in Paris and one company in Hanoi, Vietnam. Mm -hmm. And um, we made this company in Vietnam because I met uh, uh, um, a director named Chan An Hung who would mm -hmm. make the scent of green papaya. Mm -hmm. And he said, to, he said to us, oh, you can come to Vietnam because they need some post-production uh, not expert, I don't like to say expert, but some people professional of post-production. And we start to build this uh, company in Hanoi. And this is making this connection because I made some film in Vietnam with uh, Diep. Diep was a, a director from Vietnam. Uh, she's, uh, I made with her, I made a flapping in the middle of nowhere. It was mm -hmm. a very good film. And I work also with Phan Dang Zi. Pandangzi, uh, Big Father, Small Father, and other story was two directors. And with, with two directors, they make films, was uh, go to different festival. And mm -hmm. uh, my work was so by different people of festival. And name by name, this connection come and they heard about my work and everything. And it's come like this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, okay, would you say there is something specific about working with the Vietnamese filmmakers? You also work with uh, Ash Mayfair, right, in The Third Wife? Ash Mayfair also, Third Wife, yes, I yes. work with her. Uh, Ash is quite, um, yeah, this is quite very personal because uh, The First Wife, we make two versions, one in color and one in black and white. Mm -hmm. And this was very interesting, but I want to say Vietnam is different from China and different from Taiwan way, way of work. Vietnam, I feel was very, uh, it's strange, it's hard to ask to say because the way they work is like, um, I don't want to globalize because I, I work with different director and each di director is one kind. But if I take Hash, Hash Mayfair, she's quite very control everything. She's very sensitive and very strong point of view. And uh, my, my job it was really to follow this. It was not like um, totally change because she was very control everything from beginning and we very go deep to, to her direction. And it was quite easy to go there. And mm -hmm. uh, if I take Fandangzi way, Fandangzi is, is more like a instinct, instinct way, uh, instinct ash, but uh, uh, Fandangzi was waiting some proposition. Sometimes some director and, and DP wait some proposition for me. Where to and uh, I need to think and to understand the film to give something. Sometimes they need that. But Hash was more, she was clear in his mind, the mm -hmm. way she worked. This is really different point way of working, yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But which do you prefer do for the filmmaker to know exactly what they want to do or to let to give you more space, let's say? No, I mean, I like both, you know. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. I, I, uh, I don't respect people, you know, like uh, very tough if their film is not at the level. If the film is very not good and they play like a star, mm -hmm. I don't like that. Mm -hmm. I don't respect them. Mm -hmm. Me, I'm totally open about people can be crazy, can be very tough, <laughs> but if the balance, the film is good, you know, I'm, I'm okay. I have mm -hmm. no special way to do it, yeah. Mm -hmm. But uh, uh, one important thing I say is not my film. When I work, is not my film. 
Mm -hmm, this mm -hmm. is uh, really important. I work for someone and uh, I don't work for me. It's really not my film. This is why I follow this, follow this uh, way of working. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So who, who was the toughest <laughs> from all the directors you have worked with? I think the toughest in, in uh, precision, Yes. Uh, Chan and Hong. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, he's, he's very precise, but not for nothing. He's a uh, he's very skillful artistically, and uh, this is why um, I'm okay with mm -hmm. this tough way. I'm not uh, shocking. <laughs> yeah. I'm not shocked. Yeah. But uh, okay, and I was very happy to work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Since you mentioned him, you also worked with him in Norwegian wood. Am I correct? Yeah, I worked there because. He have some trouble in Japan. Mm -hmm. They did the film in my company before. They uh -huh. do the editing in France in my company, mm -hmm. and uh, they do the color in uh, Imagica Japan. And uh, at this time, they have some some kind of problem to talk with um, with the team in Imagica. Mm -hmm. Something was not connect. Him, Hong, uh, Chan and Hong was talking very, use word, not technical word, you know, it was very more emotional and poetic word, 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 and word, sorry. And uh, and he was very like, uh, something was not connect, not bridge with the lab in uh, Imagica. And he talked to me about that. And uh, because I have uh, all the technical uh, skill and I, I translate to, to Japanese. I don't translate in Japan, in the, I don't speak Japanese, but, to translate technically what he feel. Mm -hmm. And at this time was a very interesting uh, work to do with uh, Hong. Mm -hmm. And we work, yeah, we work with Imagica and, uh, and we were very happy with the result. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, you also worked with uh, Wang Bing in Dead Souls. How was that experience? Wang Bing? Yeah, yeah. very interesting because most of the time Wang Bing is edit himself, itself. And color, he don't do color, but uh, sometimes he was touching slightly the the color, mm -hmm. and um, very very interesting because uh, the first film I, I I done with him, he was with me the first time, like the first day, like uh, the morning, but we work we work and he's totally believe me and uh, Wang Bing uh, most of time he's, he's keep me alone, he's mm -hmm. give me and. Uh, he believe in me and just come uh, at the end, almost at the end, and just watch some stuff. Mm -hmm. But he, with him, is like a, a true connection. I, I, I don't need to. We don't need to be together all the time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, he, he felt comfortable about this. Yeah. And is it much different working in documentaries than in feature films? Let's say. Yeah, we documentary. We have all time in mind. You know, something, some uh, like some reality. Events can be changed, the reality, but we are not in fictional or interpretation of reality sometimes. This is a, in between. Mm -hmm. Sometimes with one being, we touch the reality. When I mean the reality is not to make fake, but to be what you feel at the moment. Mm -hmm. what, what we saw at, this, at the moment is like a, to find the good, the good uh, ambience to to be yeah to be more sometimes we have a little higher than reality but it, it's quite very low uh, cursor of reality it's not a big change like a fictional sometimes yeah mm -hmm. it's quite different yeah yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah but do you usually take part during the shooting are you there usually no, 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 most no. of the time now I, I don't like to, before I read the script, but uh, I, I, I learned the film appear in the editing. I, mm -hmm. I don't, I really don't need to read the script now. Synopsis, mm -hmm. it's okay, but I don't need to imagine. It's not my job, it's, a, it's the director and DP work. But sometimes they ask me to read, I read just for technical question for some scene. But uh, most of the time, I prefer to discover at editing because sometimes it's quite totally different, not totally different from script, but sometimes yes, sometimes no. This is why I don't need to, to go on set. Mm -hmm. I, I don't, you know, I don't want to have a, a past connection to a shot. Sometimes they, they say, oh, you know, this shot, uh, but in the background, uh, we have this and this, uh, something was moving this and this, but me, I, I really don't care. I, I don't want to know that. I want to be simply 
uh, very pure point of view of uh, what I see now and not the story beyond this this uh, shot. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I, I don't want that. I want to be fresh for sure. Yeah. Okay. And uh, can you tell me a bit about your cooperations with Pema Tseden? I found a really unique director. <laughs> yeah, and I want also to mention uh, Le Songyeu, uh, the cinematographer, because cinematographer, I work with him with another film was The Ghost in the Mountain. Mm -hmm. And uh, this, uh, this, uh, this DP, Le Songyeu, Le Songyeu, I met, I met him with a Heng, uh, Yang Heng film. And uh, it was so great cooperation to work together. He, he don't speak so well English. Mm -hmm. but, uh, it was like, um, yeah, all on the picture, you know, like we are totally connect. And uh, he contacted me again, and it was for Pema, for Jimpa, Jimpa film before Balloon. And uh, Pema really loved to meet him because I feel so full of things, you know, it was very rich, rich, rich man. Uh, intellectually, a very rich man. And uh, with Song Yeu, he really believe, Pema really believe in, uh, in his team, you know, to, to he really believe in DP, uh, on me also, and uh, to work with, with him was like uh, very great because, and everything was not stuck until the end. I take example, like a balloon, or Jimpa, or I can take Jimpa. Jimpa, we work like a, it was very short, five, six days, you know, it's quite uh, dense. Usually I work 10 days for a film. Mm -hmm. It was between five and six days. Mm -hmm. After three days, we, are, we were happy about the look of the film, what we found. But inside us, we don't, we don't feel we, we go to somewhere, you know, to su sublime or extrapolate the story. And uh, and with Song Yu is very and Pema is very comfortable to to take total revolutionize at the before the last day you know all the mm -hmm. color and with Pema and Song Yu is like that all time mm -hmm. and is all time never ending until the end and a really little way of uh, and we work this way and it's very sensitive way you know with Pema and Song Yu is is very details but each shot have your own life, you know? It's not like uh, we balance each shot for the sand to make something linear. Each shot have his own life. And the point of view of, of, the, uh, of them is like that. We, we put all our concentration to the color for this shot. And we don't think all time in overall, we think when it's up here to the screen. And I like this way of working. Mm -hmm. And this one like this with Pema and Sung Yu, yeah. <laughs> Okay, and uh, about Beautiful Days, the Zero Yun film? Yeah, Zero Yun was very interesting to work with him because it's, it's like, a, it was like, a, for, for him, it was like a return to Korea film, you know? He was staying in France a long time. And uh, this film was like some, it was very, very like a, a newborn for him in Korea. You know, for, I really feel this film was like a, not a present <laughs> for Korea, but something very connect to him. And uh, and for the film, it was very interesting because he makes the Frenois a school, art school in uh, in France. And these people from Frenois is very art people. And I really like to, because we put color and he feel comfortable with the color. And Jiro Young, I really like, he's a very clever guy about that. Mm -hmm. But about work of picture is, it's like uh, he has some phantasm about color and we I follow this phantasm of color and uh, we feel very comfortable together about that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, okay. And uh, well, and also uh, about Leave Me Alone and uh, also with, you, with your collaboration with Mathieu Laclau, you he mentioned that you have created a, a remote system during the pandemic. Yeah, we work in remote uh, this time. Now, now tools is more and more comfortable for doing remote. Mm -hmm. And uh, we work on remote on this film. I was in uh, Paris in the lab, connect to a projector, and Taiwan was connect to a projector also with a, uh, with, uh, and everything was uh, in sync. And um, remote is a really diff, remote, uh, 
it's very important to for director and DP to to be confident with a colorist because we have this, this distance and we are not in the same room. And we need to because me sometimes when when we don't speak the same language, I, I, I like to to see body moving. You know, sometimes the director in the black, uh, I see uh, in the black, but with the light, uh, they are move. The way they move, I can understand something mm -hmm. is good or not. And uh, I, I like this connection. But by remote, uh, we need to believe really in the lab. We need to believe in each other and and focus on the picture. Sometimes it's complicated start. Sometimes I prefer to, to have a... First day, I like to be connected in remote, and sometimes I ask to give me some time to to give some proposition after the first day. Sometimes I, I work offline, mm -hmm. and later I give them some some point of view. Sometimes I need to really push up to to help the film to have a better strongness, and um, sometimes I need to be alone just for one day or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. But at the, at the end of the 10 days, because it was 10 days, around the seven days or eight days, sometimes they, give, they, 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 they let me alone to work all the details, because sometimes it's more longer to, to work in remote with details, like uh, on, the, on the, a small part of the face or some small part of the wall. It's better to, I do, it, I do that in background. And we work together in remote just to have an overview of everything. But sometimes uh, the remote is not connect every day. It's not needed to be connected. And also we have a time delay. When I come to office, it's already afternoon. Uh, after is afternoon uh, in uh, in China or in Asia. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it's good because the morning when, when they come, they, they watch the work I done the day before the morning. They play it mm -hmm. and. The afternoon I come and we discuss and like this. The the time it was interesting because I can work alone. They can watch the film alone also. And uh, this is sometimes a good uh, good time way to a good way to work, yeah, by distance. Mm -hmm. You mentioned that you usually work about 10 days, but how many hours is that? No, like... for me I start like uh, 9 30 to 6 30 p.m. Something like that with one hour pause. Mm -hmm. I, I don't do a uh, crazy long because when you are tired, you you are not sensitive at all. You are tired, but you are not sensitive about feeling about uh, the picture. Your mood is go down. I think it's not good to work too much. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. And do, do you ever fight with the director or the cinematographer, or is it always smooth? I have one film I fight. Mm -hmm. One film it was. Uh, Sherazade was a French film. Uh, Jean, uh, Jean Bernard Marlin was a good film, very good film. But he was like uh, we, the lab. Uh, he, he was for Cannes. He was at the last moment, and uh, and the director was like uh, turn around, like uh, like they repeat it, repeat the same thing because he was very tired and repeat the same things and uh, and, and not fight but uh, shout, just uh, speaking very loud. But uh, and it's go down very quick, just five minutes and go down. But most of the time, I <laughs> end the fight because, uh, as I say, it's not my film and my ego is not there. Mm -hmm. I don't put my ego uh, on the picture and my taste. I don't put that. I try mm -hmm. to understand way of point of view of director and and GP is more important because me, I love, I love to go where I, I didn't think to go. You know. Mm -hmm. Because DP director want this, I love to go out of my uh, comfort zone. But my comfort zone is it's quite big, you know. <laughs> okay yeah. for everything, you know. <laughs> Even if very extreme, I have no trouble with extreme stuff. Um, I feel good with this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. And how about uh, 11 months? I saw it recently, a very impressive film. You were also involved with that, uh, happening the English title, if I remember correctly. Uh, this, I really love it because the woman, uh, the Audrey Diwan, is kind of very intellectual, but also very punk in his mm -hmm. mind. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was very interesting to discover that when we do the color. And we are very... 
close to each other. Finally, we are very understand each other very quickly. And I really like, like to work on this film. And um, for the DP also was some kind new for him because this DP was more used to, to do commercial film. I, I mean commercial uh, uh, feature film, but a big, not commercial advertising, but I mean a feature film. Mm -hmm. This was kind more sensitive. And for him, he was very excited because I worked with the DP before on more action film way. But with this film, it was kind of very interesting for him because like very, each color, each way of doing thing was behind with a, an emotion, you know? And this will really, yeah, was very it's hard to say, but we feel very good for this. It was, most of work was the skin, the skin of the woman to be very true, some kind, you know, with all of details, all of scar, all of, Bouton, everything we need to to keep this feeling and I, and I was happy to to have a director with this because most of the time we think about beauty to make people more beautiful and everything this but no we want to be very straight and I really like this way of working yeah mm -hmm. it was interesting yeah do you go to the cinema to watch the movies that you have worked in for me, I need to wait almost one or two years before to watch <laughs> because uh, yes. I'm never happy. I never happy. I want to do the maximum, maximum, and um, it's not every day you have a film you feel ah we is good, it's finished. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But uh, with Song Yu, with Balloon and Jimpa, I feel that I was very. We, I feel we finish. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. it's very interesting. <laughs> not every film I feel that mm -hmm. I could until the end but uh, all time I want to do more 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 sometimes <laughs> okay okay but in, in general do you watch a lot of films do you manage have the oh, time or I, I I'm very selective uh like uh, music I don't turn the radio on and listen to everything you know uh, I need to to search uh, 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 because uh, I, I watch film and I, I'm quite uh, involved when I watch a film. I can watch a lot of film in uh, in week because for me emotionally is too much. Uh, I think I will be dry at the end. <laughs> this is why I, I watch and take my time to to feel it, to think think about also, think about it the next day or after the next day. I like this memory of film. Mm -hmm. But if I watch another one, I delete this memory of film. This is why I'm, I don't, do too, I don't watch too much. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I'm be careful with this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But do you find yourself like checking the coloring of the movies you watch and say, ah, this could have been better or something like that? Yeah. No, because uh, I, I take the film I, uh, like like this because you know I have some colorists talk to me to come to to give my advice and see things. <gasps> you know. I'm not inside the film, you know. I, I don't. When I'm inside the film, I judge. We mm -hmm. search and judge. But when I am outside, no, I don't judge. If I see the color is some kind taking the lip, taking too much on mm -hmm. the film, at least something is very wrong about the film. But most of time, I accept everything, even accident, everything. I, I take the. You know, I, when I watch a film, I watch like overall, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because some, some some directors sometimes they send me the editing before to work together, and I watch the editing and they say, ah, you see, uh, we have a, this shot, we have trouble of light, and mm -hmm. I see nothing because I'm not in his mind, in the in the mind of uh, only my job. I take the film like overall, and from this overall editing, we found a color. It's not like a, oh some trouble there, 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 there. I don't, I don't care. Honestly, I don't care. I like to, I take the film like that, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So in general, from what you are saying, uh, it, it, you give me the impression of someone who you are very easy to work with. Would you say that applies to yourself? Do you consider yourself as that easy to work with? Well, people say, yeah, they are, most of the time, you know, even new people, uh, we stay friends. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. A lot. It's not like, ah, oh, I was happy to work with you and see you, bye. <laughs> most of most of DP and director, we are still friends. Yeah, still mm -hmm. connect. Even I don't work with them because for any reason of 
schedule or calendar or everything, I, I, we're still friends, yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and since you work for so many films, do you sometimes find it difficult to go out of one film and inside the other? Is it? Well, before can this year was quite very dense. And I, and I do that because for any reason, like uh, VFX need to be color grade again and everything, it was very complicated. Mm -hmm. Very complicated. Mm -hmm. well, one film I work was uh, Les Amandiers, uh, Valeria, and Louis Garel, two films. I work with the same DP, and the morning we work on, on the film, and the afternoon we work on the other film. It was quite complicated. Mm -hmm. And I really don't like finale. Me, I know some colorists doing, uh, you know, uh, 8 to 3 p.m., 3 p.m. to uh, 10, p uh, 10 p.m. Some mm -hmm. I know some colorists doing this, but me, I can't. Mm -hmm. I, I need to be full and focus on the film for mm -hmm. two weeks. But after two weeks, I can go to another film. It's okay. But mm -hmm. in the same week, jump each day to a new film. Uh, this is it's, it's possible. I, I do that sometimes, but I really don't like. Really don't like. I, I prefer to, to be focused mm -hmm. on the film. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And um, uh, financially, does it make sense being like a colorist nowadays? Or because I see that you work a lot, you work a lot because it's a necessity in order to make a living. Or uh, no, because uh, I, I'm really lucky to have a lot of proposition about film. I'm very lucky. And uh, if it was for money and living, I will do commercial advertising. And the, uh, I don't do that for mm -hmm. politically reason. I, I don't support that. I don't like it at, at all. But this, you can make a lot of money in co uh, advertising. Me, the, the film I love, most of the time is not the well paid. It's not the high rate. But I'm very lucky. Yeah, very lucky to work on very... But most of the film I like, most of the time, if there are no money, <laughs> okay. it's more connected to this. More the film I like is well, because I do sometimes very money for three weeks. It's good money film is more three weeks. Mm -hmm. It's okay, but it's not my uh, only taste. Uh, but uh, as I say all the time, I prefer to be, to make um, a bad Chinese film than the bad French film. You know, I prefer to make a comedy from Asia. To from uh, than French comedy, you know, why? Because it's, it's all, all, even you work, you have all time something new, new way of point of view, uh, new way of culturally different. Because when you work with something, yeah, in your one country with your one culture, well, for me, it's less exciting. I'm more excited by uh, work from can from Brazil also, this kind of stuff, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, also, uh, in France, we have um, quite hard about the picture, you know. Um, we sometimes we, I feel we film only dialogue, not really uh, mise en scène. Sometimes mm -hmm. that's missing the meaning of mise en scène, the meaning of movement of camera, meaning of where people, where to put people. And I, I feel that in. Asia, if even Brazil, and they are more aware about the the, the picture. Than, uh, in France, sometimes we, we are too much lazy. We have, uh, <laughs> too, yeah, it's too much lazy way <laughs> to, to shoot, yeah. yeah. Do, do you ever think, like after you have finished the film, let's say, because you have a French background, do you ever think that maybe this Asian film looks too much like a French one? Have you ever made this kind of thought? You you can have an Asian film look like a Romer. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, uh, for me, uh, some people, uh, I don't think I have a style to say it's French film, you know? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because as I say, it's not my film. Okay. I don't put a French culture on, on the film, you know. Mm -hmm. I think just it's like a point of view. It's like sound mixing. I know very, very good. I think in France we are more than color, but we are really good sound mixer. Sound very high end. From from my point of view, we are re internationally high end. And I think even I know sound mixer working for Asian film. I don't feel is French about sound mixing. You know, I don't. Mm -hmm. 
I don't feel at all. I think I think it's just a matter of where you're thinking, open minded. Because I know some countries they don't care so much uh, from Asia film around. You know, sometimes it happens. They don't care about the film from the other country. But in France, we we have this culture of. Uh, producing with international, we have all time this kind of open-minded way of working. Like Mathieu Laclo is typical. Mm -hmm. He's French, but he's really open-minded. And he wants that. He needs that. <laughs> he needs other point of view for working. Me, I need exactly the same. Mm -hmm. I'm more excited to work with people than, than thinking not like me. Mm -hmm. I really love that. I mm -hmm. really love that. From, this is the only thing that make me to continue. If I will do only French film, no, I'm, uh, I will stop, I think, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Well, I guess in the last questions, can you tell me a bit about uh, your future projects? What are you working on next? Mm, I have a, I have some uh, feature to do, um, some Chinese film to do in remote also. Mm -hmm. um, but if I have a lot, I'm already full until uh, 12 May, you know, <laughs> this is quite, it's oh, really? quite, yeah, it's that every day, every day, every week, sorry, every two weeks. <laughs> so okay. I just only take uh, some uh, holidays now from, uh, now I still work, I will work in London in uh, in, July, uh, in July, but I will I will stop until uh, August, but mm -hmm. in September is, is full, and it's full from, uh, you have some French film, some Chinese film also, uh, yeah. Quite. Uh, I saw an Indian film also, Agra. Are you? Yeah, I work on Agra also, yeah. Okay. okay. Now I think it's a, yeah, I hope it will be taking film festival. I just, <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. just my, my yeah. finger. Yeah. But yeah. do you ever get tired? Uh, I, before Khan, I was tired. You know, mm. it, uh, as I say, I was working all the day. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, I need to go to another lab to do color for very fixed reason, everything. And I do that for, I want to, from February to May. This work, you know, I like work the weekend, work, work in two films. I was very tired, yeah, really tired. And uh, I was thinking at the end of the day, of why are we need film, you know? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, it's not. It's making no sense. <laughs> okay. But in general, no, you don't feel tired working in film after film. You don't no, get tired. It's like, a, it's like driving car. You know, you are focused. Even you are tired. You your nerve, your nerve is is give you the energy to continue. Mm -hmm. But I'm not tired because it's all time something new. This is why. If it was a series or something re repetitive, like a repeat. Uh, I really don't know. I think I will be very tired mentally. This is why I'm independent also. To mm -hmm. choose to have all time something fresh. I'm more exciting about that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I guess that's it. Thank you very much Hyo, for being here. We never get the chance to speak with colorists, you know. We barely know what you are doing. So this is a very interesting conversation for me. So thank you very much for being here. Thank you. Uh, this was Asian Movie Pulse interviews and see you each other soon. Bye. Okay. Bye bye. Okay. <laughs>